Hi everybody, it's Sarah and it's Spirit of Saturday today and this week we were talking about courage and bravery and I like this topic for a number of reasons but the first reason is that it means different things to different people and when we were talking about this, the other co-hosts and myself um, that for, for someone who is very very shy and timid you know, having courage and being brave might be going out and getting involved, you know, joining a club, you know, forming a social network. Whereas for someone who is really bothered by time to themselves, having courage and being brave might be something entirely opposite. But both are equally courageous and both are equally brave. And I think that that's really important to remember. The other thing about courage and bravery is that it's beautifully ordinary. You know, sometimes we get caught in our own little struggle, in our own little world, and it's really hard to remember that other people have struggles too. And the truth of the matter is that there are so many people out there who are having courage and being brave on a regular daily basis that it's just a phenomenon that's beautifully ordinary and you know wonderfully normal and I think that that's that's something that is a part of the human condition that is very very unique to humanity and I think it's something worth celebrating um, so what does courage mean for me courage uh, means for me different things at different times in my life um, one of my favorite, favorite sayings is that happiness is a form of courage. And, you know, some people don't like that saying because it, it implies that, you know, you have to ask for happiness and you should be entitled to it. Yeah, well, the world's not perfect, so I'm going to go with, yes, I do have to ask for happiness, but it is totally within my right to ask for happiness and it's totally within my right to pursue it um, or you know, pursue the journey that brings me closer to that space in my life um, you know I think that courage and bravery can be change I hate change I really really dislike change I get very very anxious when I have to move my house um, you know I was thinking about painting my apartment and I you know, that's giving me anxiety. I just, I don't like change. And for me to be flexible and to be accommodating, you know, the way that people who are happy are, because, you know, they're so willing to adapt and so flexible, um, you know, that takes a lot of courage for me. And that to me is probably the epitome of courage is confronting and embracing change. Um, the other thing that I think and consider courage and bravery to be is uh, perseverance. Um, again, another favorite quote of mine is that courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes it's that little voice at the end of the day that says, tomorrow I'll try again. And that is so, so true. Um, you know, if, if I decided at the end of every day that I had had enough of my life, um, you know, that is just so damning to the, the human spirit that you do have to have hope. And hope is courage. And persistence is courage. And both of those take a brave person to imagine the benefits of um, because it's, it's so much easier to say you know what I'll never get there okay kind of depressing too but you, it's it's important that I don't know I just think it's very very important that we have a very open-ended definition of courage and bravery and that it is all-encompassing and adaptable to our lives because ultimately it's such a beautiful, wonderful concept that I think it's necessary.
necessary every day of our lives and I think it's something we should celebrate every day of our lives and that's about it I guess um, yeah so I hope you have a good week have courage and be brave whatever that means to you and I will see you next week